All right, we're here. This is gonna be a great time, I just know it. Yo, we made it to the, the giant tree and it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's about what I imagined. <laughs> yeah, that, that really does look cool. Could these ruins be the work of the mysterious Zonai? Hmm, who knows? Who knows? Wait, nope, that's the, that's the swirl. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely the Zonai. Okay. All right, next stop, Mount Everest. Oh man, this is, this is, that's not, that, yeah, this is fun. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, Expedition Everest is uh, pretty intense. I think that uh, Mission Space, orange level, still, still more intense than uh, than this was. But like, this was fun, especially considering Epcot didn't really have like traditional roller coasters, except maybe like the test track. This was uh, this was a nice change of pace. I'm not quite sure where we're going next, but uh, I'm sure we'll all find out. Yeah, you know, like I, I would make some kind of reference to Jurassic Park here, but honestly, like I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Th these skeletons really are cool, though. I, like, yeah, this is amazing. We just got off of uh, Dinosaur. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Like the, uh, like the dinosaur animatronics were really, uh, really cool. I do, I do think, I think it's kind of silly that they just said sauropod instead of naming like an actual species. That's kind of, I, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to the safari next. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, th this is just hilarious. And there's no one who can deny that. Bongos are nicknamed the ghosts of the forest because of their ability to blend in really well with their surroundings. They're very cautious and quiet animals. Difficult to spot if they're not out in the open. Both male and female bongos have very strong back-swept horns on their head. That's going to help them move through the underbrush here in the forest. But the Okapi's closest relative is the giraffe. Take a look at their heads. They look very similar to giraffe's heads. They also have a similar 16-inch long tongue. They can lick their own eyeballs. Standing against the wall. He's facing away from us. Maybe not his best angle. But you can see Juan a lot closer to us. Just on the other side of this fallen log. It looks like a boulder. Now, unfortunately, there's less than 5,000 of these black rhinos left in the entire world. They're targeted for their horns, which some people believe have medicinal value, but their horns are made of the same material as her fingernails. She doesn't have any horns. Males have horns that reach about six feet long. We put them together. We might find some more scattered here. They stand about five feet tall. There's a male and a female over here, and you tell the difference based on their eye color. Brown eyes mean it's a male, yellow eyes mean it's female. It's called a bloat. Mm -hmm. Upload of hippos, oh man. Their heads are perfectly adapted for their life underwater. Eyes, ears, and nose all on the very top of their head. That way most of their body can stay submerged, even when they come up a breath. They can hold their breath up to eight minutes at a time. White animals are really cute, and they look very similar to our pets at home. But these are wild dogs, and they are incredible hunters. 80 to 90% of their hunts are successful. In contrast, cheetahs have about a 50% success rate. Lions even less than that. They are seeing the best hunters in the savanna. These are very protective animals of each other and their territory. Given the choice, they're going to fight to defend their own rather than flee from danger. That's a little uncommon for a species of antelope. So they are the symbol of Harambe Wild and Reserve. Get to the ones with With so much open space in Savannah, not a lot of places to hide, so safety comes in numbers. Very neat pattern on its coat, like a fingerprint. Baby zebras can imprint on their mother. They know her exact pattern and can pick her out of a group. We what is that? Now, this gray eland is a male. He's about six foot at the shoulder and can jump eight feet straight in the air. Now right now you can see he's kind of digging his horns into this grass. He's making himself a little crown to go show off in front of the female. This is a mating tactic that they use. We call them flower crowns. Mm. He thinks it makes them look charming. He's still got some growing to do. There are two young male elephants on the reserve, as well as... 
So farmers that are growing beehives around their crops, the elephants can detour around when they get to them. They're getting to the same destinations, just not running into danger now. The farmers have an added income because they can sell the honey in those beehives and all the bees get a nice new shiny home out of it, so it helps out everybody. Oh, the baby flamingos are just adorable. The babies are gray at the moment. When their feathers do come in, they're going to be black and white. See this Ewan running in front of us? I don't know what's got her one <laughs> Okay, we got, we got done with the, uh, the Kilimanjaro safari. And it was, uh, that was really neat. Like so many, uh, so many great animals. And now I, uh, I'm not sure exactly where we're heading next, but uh, it's gonna be good. All right, so guess where I just came from? If you guessed Cowley River Rapids, you would be correct. Yeah, that, that was a fun ride. I, I will let you know what the warning said on the sign. You will get wet. You may get soaked. You're probably going to get soaked. Yeah. The, so like, if getting soaked is your thing, then uh, have fun on Cali River Rapids. My my mom and sister didn't want to do it because they are not fans of getting soaked. Oh well. They're doing a nature walk or something. I'm gonna meet up with them later. See you then. Oh, 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 oh. This monkey will just not shut up. It is just awful. Could you please be quiet? Yo, this is gorgeous. Look at, look at this pristine piece of culinary bliss right here. All right, it's raining now, and we just made it to the uh, the line for Pandora uh, Flight of Passage. And it stretches so far back, like, man, I, I was com I was complaining about Frozen Ever After yesterday. That wasn't nothing compared to this. Oh man, yeah, if there if there is one attraction that can truly be called e-ticket at Animal Kingdom, this is it. My goodness. Yeah, Flight of Passage can run Rain or Shine. That, that helps. Yeah. And, yeah, so we're, uh, we're just going to be in line for a bit. In the rain. If you couldn't tell from the, the rain poncho. Man, the ambient noises sure are loud here. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you after the ride's over. All right, so we're still in line. It's been almost an hour, but we're inside at least. That's nice. That's nice. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll get on the ride sometime this decade. Hey, look, it's Granny's peach tea. Okay, so having, uh, having just come out of the, uh, Flight of Passage, I, I'd say it was worth an hour and a half of waiting in line. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't smiling. Oh my gosh. So fun. Yeah, like the, the 3D made it really immersive and oh. like it's just cool in the same way uh, Soarin' Around the World is. And I want my own banshee. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> and also just this area up here with like the, the floating rocks. That, that was also like really well realized. And it stopped raining. We spent about half the time in line in the rain. And now it's not raining. So we can go and it's not raining anymore. So we can do other things. Uh, like the Navi River, right? Navi River. We want to see the Lion King show. Yeah. Maybe head to the Lion King show since that's at three. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll Lion the King River. show. Alrighty. So we just got out of... Uh, a celebration of Festival of the Lion King, which is really not a good name, and uh, it was it was good. Like the the singing, the singing was good. The the guy who did Be Prepared was really good, and uh, Simba's voice just wasn't great. But uh, 
yeah, like it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Okay, we just did the, the Navi uh, river, river ride and it, uh, it's not that good. Like it's fine, it's, it's kind of relaxing, but like not worth, uh, not worth standing 40 minutes in line, yeah. Although, like it did, uh, it did start raining while we were in line under the pavilion there, so it's nice. Yeah, it torrential down for it was madness, and uh, yeah, so it was nice that we were in there to uh, to not get caught in it. And we're probably gonna do a few more things, but we've uh, we've done all the attractions now, except for you two not going on the Cali River Rapids. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And she's okay with that somehow.